Hey guys, it's us, uh, Gib Kiefer, and this is our week. You know, we I don't, don't know. know. Update. <laughs> Anyways, it's the end of December, and we wanted to update you guys on a few things that, has, uh, that have been going on the last week or two. Yeah, so we had a staff meeting last Friday, and as a result, we had this whole list of things that we wanted everyone to be updated on and anything that was new and so uh, we created this whole document which we'll share with you but um, we'll just kind of review the highlights but in it it's kind of fun because it has some like charts and pictures and stuff <laughs> yeah we reviewed with all the staff uh, sort of all the um, updates to their uh, responsibilities we'd already met with everyone individually and set team goals and yeah. Uh, but we shared that with the uh, all of the Give Kiefer staff on Friday, so everyone it's like sealed deal now. And um, we talked about Phnom Penh, how Phnom Penh is not like cutting it right now. Uh, so one of the decisions that uh, we made is to cut pricing in Phnom Penh. Uh, we're we reducing yeah. it uh, from four for a new bottle to three, and for the fill is two now instead of three. So we think this is going to get people moving in through the door um, at a faster rate and we really need that. We're trying to gain traction and we can't come in apparently at a uh, premium price. So We tried though because honestly it's easier to lower prices later so we're lowering them this now. This is true. And they don't want to come in, they want delivery so we've worked out a program for that that's really good. And but so when we, we had our meeting the first thing we did was introduce this pricing which yeah, you so have. for the pricing, we've also created a membership program. Yeah. So everyone in Seam Reap will sign up to become a member to get the reduced pricing. We'll still leave the regular pricing at the old pricing if anyone wants to, uh, you know, it's just a tourist, um, it's just passing through, doesn't want to give us their contact information for some reason, then they can still pr pay the old price. But members get the new price and we're getting a lot of members. A lot of people right. want to sign up and they, um, we expect to see those guys a lot. So we got their email addresses too. We're gonna to start marketing to them in that way. Um, not right away, but we will. And we a stack of papers right now, a little member, so we're That's stoked. And, um, so yeah, that, I think that will go over well. And then we also just reviewed sales actuals and um, goals. So we have like a four month trend for Seam Reef and another for Pound Pen. And so we shared that with everyone so they understood what kind of progress we were making and understood that we are planning for more. We adjusted our um, forecasts to show, like to line up with actuals and so we, we've just communicated what our sales targets are for them for the next couple of months and given them some tools to help achieve those. Like we've created this customer service team with a, a certain protocol of restocking and signage and sampling and education to just enhance our retailers ability to move more kefir. We've created a retail target team to just go and get new ones. Yeah, we're They're already um, doing that. Um, and it's, it seems like a good, it seems like it's working out. Yeah. Uh, they're getting out there. We got some new energy on the streets, beating on some doors getting us more customers. Always new and, people uh, coming in. When they come in, they love it. Like when people are into it, they're so into it. But you know, it just takes a minute for them to notice us even. And I think we had assumed that Seam Reef would have launched much more quickly had COVID not come in and impacted the scene. But it's now occurring to me that possibly this is a slow growth market, that it's a new product in a new market so maybe whether COVID was here or not we might have just seen this really slow and steady growth and we're hoping and still counting on that being stronger in Phnom Penh with its tenfold population and we are working on targeting that market more directly but we're, we're recognizing the reality that it may just be a slow growth so we're preparing that for that with with um, just managing all of our resources really well. <laughs> all right. Yeah. <It's... laughs> Sorry, we're going on a long time. So the yeah. major highlights were the pricing. We had a production update. We're like at 30% capacity right now. I think we're brewing 90 liters a day. We had like some staff communication things like everybody needs to re-understand insurance. So there's some people responsible for making sure everyone in the staff fully knows how to use their benefits. 
Um, there's some other things you oh. could review the packet. So, some of them are interesting, some of them are honestly not. But We just got the <laughs> everyone trained in Phnom Penh on using the bottling machine. Yeah. So that allows us now, we don't have to ship bottles down there anymore, which is great for us because it'll save us on shipping. We can just ship kegs down there and then they will bottle on site. They'll wash their own bottles and refill them. So the amount of glass going back and forth between Seam Reef and Phnom Penh is going to go down to almost zero. As of now, like mm -hmm. as of now, it's all set up, so we're stoked. That's yep. like a major efficiency win for us and lets us use our staff in Phnom Penh more effectively, spread the load. And yep. we're also looking toward cans. We know that we need them to pair up with the distributor, so that is a barrier for us right now and we will resolve it soon. <laughs> So, um, um, it's kind of a side note, but it will help our bottom line is we are going to rent out. We're looking for rent uh, renters for the, our Phnom Penh bedrooms because in the top of the building we have three bedrooms that each have their own bathroom. And we're like, you know what? We could rent these yeah. things out and just reduce, anyways, our, rent reduce our, our rent expense down there. Which so. is sweet. That'll be good. Uh, we think we can get like $700 or something on down there. Oh, we, we trained on a new customer intro. Like as soon as somebody walks in the store, everyone's trained on, Hi, is this your first time in? If it is, I'll offer you a sample and a glass on draft and here's the info I'll share with you. And if it's a, a returning customer, you're always trying to get membership every time. If they're not a member, make it easy on them. Oh, Auntie Own took over yeah. ownership of the... It's really just an update to our introduction. We always introduce ourselves to people um, and welcome people. We're just adding the membership piece in there now. And the direction to draft. Also, this is Auntie Own. She's, I don't know if you can see it, but she's taking ownership of the under the cupboard consignment area where we stock other goods on consignment if they're local and natural. Anyway, so she's found some new things already, which I love. And, well, we removed alcohol from both locations. There was zero sales, so that spoke zero. for itself, I think. I don't, we're not pushing them. Are I know, I think we talked about itself. it. <laughs> but it was confusing for people. They were it like, was what am They're I like, supposed this to is think? a bar or this is a health food store. They're like, we don't know, and we just want your money. So we just had to pull that. And we probably, <laughs> um, yeah, it gave a lot of people the wrong impression about us. So we have to reach back out to those people and be like, we're not a bar. Come back for a health food store. We got these bottle carriers. There's a picture in here that's so sweet. Carry a six pack of bottles. Oh, I have my actual one here. Oh, I love it. Hold six bottles. Right now it's holding all my crap. I use them for everything. That is a good sourcing agent. Two bots, you guys. In. Labeled, like printed with that. Anyway, so we're giving them away to regular clients and we're also selling them for just at cost because they're walking around town like repping our logo, it's great. Oh no, it's great because they have these bags, they come in, they're like, well, I guess I'll take six. And so they buy more than they would have normally bought in many cases. We are also distributing flyers on Pub Street, rep and hangover cures still. We have a tuk-tuk program that we're working to refine where when they bring in a group, they get a certain commission on the total sale. Mm -hmm. Or if uh, somebody brings in a referral card with their number on it, they just get a flat 25 cent kickback. So we have a program that we're refining and communicating and trying to make the most of. Um, we are offering a free English uh, Kamai reading and writing class. <coughs> the kids' is tutor. Um, we decided to move her out of our house and move her into the she upstairs of Kim Kiefer. Um, so we're just going to open that up for anyone, anyone who so, wants to bring their kids in who are like under 15 from or 14 four or to something. 15 13. maybe. We, um, you're welcome to join. Definitely, if you're living in Seam Reef and you have a child that speaks English and is just now getting the basics of Kamai, they're welcome to get in on our kids' tutoring. It's pretty fun. We're also doing massage on the third floor right now. We have kind of a shared with the storage space. We're calling it the Give Kiefer Body Work Studio and we have a massage therapist and, and she's undergoing a bit of training and she's amazing, so we're offering that just Give Kiefer's offering it like on commission basically, so um, she's using the space and she's gonna pay them at a 25% of anything she earns and they'll process the transaction for her. That's how we're handling all of our consignments now. And I think the bodywork brings something nice into the space and it allows, um, it 
it's with the trend of wellness. So it forced us, for us. It forced us to get a curtain upstairs, which is a huge improvement. Oh my to the gosh, store you guys, now. it looks so cozy. <laughs> Everyone loves it, and I think we really felt called to build a lifestyle around this drink that. Um, it wasn't just probiotics, it was sort of representative of an entire lifestyle of wellness and that we would be called to, to show that or display that, make it more available or digestible. So we're trying that in all categories and we personally believe in, that, in the um, healing benefits of body work, certainly like treating the whole body with body work every time. So yeah, we want to bring that into our store. It's as good as kefir, I'd stand by that. <laughs> I mean when it's good. Yeah. And some that is good. So come check it out. It's going to be available for sale starting February 1st. For now, we're just doing, you know, a little more training and gathering information. Yep. Heidi, mom, if you're watching, uh, we'll see you soon. Massage is waiting. It's a 75 minute full body wellness treatment. You guys are going to love it. It's traditional Chinese and Kamai healing practices all in massage form that are really, yeah, you'll, you'll see. Okay, 11 11. 11 11. So, thanks for everything. Oh, one quick investor update is Angela is working with an attorney locally to process the paperwork showing the correct ownership split and all of that. So, we'll all be asked to sign that. And um, so, we're grateful that that's happening. And then she'll be able to transfer funds. And she's transferring some a bit early just to meet a need that, um, and um, then we'll finish it off once we get all the paperwork filed appropriately, which we're stoked to be doing now. So yeah, yeah, thank that's you, a good Angela. update too. Thank you, Angela. Thanks for doing all that. Yeah. Sorry, this is a bit rambly, guys. <laughs> I was a bit nervous today, but right. we wanted to give you all the info. So um, thanks for your support. Thanks for yeah. listening. All right, guys. See okay. you soon. Bye.